All right, so now that you've gotten the hang of chain stitch, it's time to move on to a more complicated form of chain stitch, which is open chain stitch. And similar, but different. So I'm gonna pull my needle down here at the start of this little guide that I've drawn for myself. And what I'm gonna do is make my little loop, like I'm doing a normal chain, but I'm not gonna come in through this hole. I'm gonna come in over here and make sure I come in diagonally like this and make sure that I go over this thread so that the loop is secure. But instead of pulling it tight, oh geez, but instead of pulling it all the way tight, we need to make sure that we can start another loop. So what I'm gonna do is form another loop like this and make sure that I come under this loop with my needle before sticking it into the fabric and then doing this diagonal thing over the loop, like so. Once again, make a new loop and make sure you go under. up here over the loop de loop Ugh, there's a knot at the end of this that is why it's behaving like so and once again you want to pull it like as tight as possible but not so tight that you can't still get your needle underneath here when you make a new loop and of course you can like vary in size and make some smaller ones too which I'll show you It's not. It's really getting me. And so I guess the way you can finish this is by kind of the way you would finish another chain stitch. So I would make like a loop here and then come in in the middle on top of these threads. That way it can be secured, but also still loopy loopy like this. So there you go. It's not that attractive, but I just wanted to show you guys different lengths with this. So there you go. Open chain stitch.